So this is the top shaft, what it looks like when you remove it from the transmission. So what you need to do is press this uh, gear off this shaft and the bearing, and we reuse this bearing. So this is the top shaft out of a TZ1A or a TZ1B. And uh, this is the gear and bearing we just pressed off that shaft. Now it's important to note that the, the thrust bearing that seats here is retained. We need to use that again. And we also need to use this bearing here, which the part number is a 6010. Now the reason I bring this part number up is because if you've got a TV1B transmission, your top shaft will look like this. And it's important to note that this shaft can't be modified to work with the Reverseru uh, reversing system in the 4EAT transmission. So if you've got a TV1B, you'd need to discard of this shaft and source a shaft out of a TZ1A or a TZ1B. And you'd also need to source uh, the bearing from that transmission as well to use at the top. And then you'll be able to modify this shaft to use with the reverse roux reversal kit. So we've got the top shaft in the four jaw chuck of the lathe. And as you can see in there, we've taken the two seals out um, just so they don't get damaged. So now that the ring's been parted off, the next step is to get this OD down to 46 millimetres. So now we have this at 46 millimetre OD. What we need to do now is get a four millimetre thickness between this face here and the back face, but it's very important that there's no material taken off the front face or the face of the surface of where the thrust bearing sits. All of the material that needs to come off needs to come off from this back side here. And then you'll end up with a four millimeter thickness between here and here. So now we've got this surface here at 46 millimeter OD, and then the thickness here that the verniers are measuring is four millimetres. Now it's very important to understand that you only take the material off the back of the face here and not off the front face. Uh, and the next job or the next part of this task is to part this off and then from the face where the thrust bearing sits out is six millimetres, which we'll do now. Okay, so just a summary of the job. First of all, we took the seals off the shaft, which are in my hand here, just so they didn't get damaged. Uh, the second thing is we parted this ring off. Then after that, we got this diameter here down to an OD of 46 millimeters right there. And then the next thing we did was got this thickness here between this face and this face was four millimeters. But as I mentioned before, it's very important that all the material comes off the back face and nothing comes off the front face. And then the very last thing we did was we got a depth of six millimeters on this section here from the face where the thrust bearing sits to this face here is six millimeters.